Amazon's Alexa represents uh, a major shift in the way we think of content. We need to thought, think of content as a service that's going to be consumed by many different devices, and that's what the Amazon Alexa is teaching us. It was a, a general concept. Uh, it was a, a concept that was uh, pretty much in the air. Yeah, we thought, oh yeah, okay, smartphones and everything, and, but there was always the web browser. There was always the, the app. It was always visual. Now it's going to shift into audio, but it'll also move us down the path where different devices, such as toys, such as our car, uh, such as our appliances, will be items that will consume content and we will have a conversation with them. It just won't be the refrigerator saying, oh, you need milk but it'll be a conversation about the whole grocery list. Uh, that uh, the device will have to know how to go out and get content presented to us and go back and forth. The future is smarter devices. If we look at the uh, audio assistant or voice assistant on a smartphone, it was one question that was formatted, a web search was done, and the information was brought back. Here, we're now in a conversation where it's back and forth and there's more intelligence wrapped around the content. AI is the next step that will be integrated into these devices. It will help us to organize the data and consume it and go out and get it in a better format than a question. I mentioned in an earlier segment where the developer has to think about the help that's integrated into the content for the user to be able to know what to ask and, and uh, know how to get the results they want. AI will help with that. And just by remembering who the user is, remembering the personality of the user, and how uh, the user has engaged with the device before, it will be that help that the user needs to get the content. So the smart help and the remembering of the habits of the user will be where these devices are going to go next.